Tonight is the perfect example of people lying on people and pretending to be real. I talked to my one friend where they said, we all know his friends are here. Because I went to that hospital with my dad over. We went into our bill kitchen last month. Now, they follow me in. They drove a race car. Okay. They yelled at me. Across the parking lot. I thought, I can't deal with this right now. I have 13 handicapped people. Me and my other two co-workers. I'm a little busy, okay? Well, even if my wife lying on me, I went to the bathroom. That's it, the truth. I'm in case we all know that man's friends. And they said it's too late. And then they said some other stuff. And then some guy showed up. Walmart. Mm. November 22nd, 16th, and they said that they were his friend. And that nobody better say a word to him. Talk to him. He said those people were shit. Tell him to set the fuck up. Michelle and her family I think they're pretty they're not just like him and they told me my one son is very good along with that child and that they said that they photoshopped when they kicked in my door and I woke up with bruises and they were digging for him Oh, and they had an attorney, and they were going to come after me. They lied and told people I had charges. They should follow me as Jesus. I've never been questioned in my life. I've never been prosecuted. I've never felt guilty. I have nothing. Okay? I go to my son. Tell him about this one lady following me. And I said she walks by me or not. my DM at the primary on November 8th from work to work by me. I'm like, hi, hi, hi. I go to Alicia with them. She's out by the van. I'm pissed about that. So I'm going to take care of them. I get everybody in the van. I walk down ahead. She's like, hi, how are you? I'm like, oh, it's been a long month. My husband's behavior. He tried to hand me his little ticket at the door. And they kicked him my door. And moved up there three days later. He met her six days uh, late, within six days of moving up there. We weren't even moved in. Somebody kicked him my door. He started stalking me like my camera. I guess they photoshopped shower scenes and made it look weird. I woke up with giant bruises. I lied to people. I had sodium, they had sodium pentothal reports. Now I'm laughing that I was deeply drunk. Told me to say word or stuff. Oh, you'll be found innocent. What part of that makes me a victim? Do they not understand? Okay. I said I already was found innocent in 18 or years ago. She looked and I said, I got my my med search. I just da 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 da. She looked sick and said, I gotta go and she ran across the parking lot. Told you that Michelle showed up about several times. I was telling all the people that follow me out here to leave me alone that all well, the tapes were for with them and not her. And Krista had called her and told her that none of this was funny. Um, and that um, there was just people helping me get everything before. And that's all that was going on. And all those tapes were for with them and not her. And don't say anything to her anymore. It's just them. And that all these people helped us get everything after. Okay. Oh, maybe. 
November 18th, 22, one more 62, between 2 and 6, right by the hair salon, there's a big old huge camera right there, there's a big old huge camera inside the hair salon, those girls said, you know, the police walked us in here, make sure we're all right, and there shows up, screams, it was my idea the same we taped her before. It was my idea to do all that, and it was all me and not her. And for all these people to turn on her, they actually fell for her and went along with it. <laughs> Some guys like, well, if it was just you, I could even take care of it. <laughs> and they're sitting there mocking all these people for helping them. Oh, it was all him. And he's mocking them. Well, I don't have trouble walking into stores no more. He came up and looked at me and said, after that man mocked us, and made fun of us for helping us up all for this, no one will ever say a word to you again. Mm -hmm. He made fun of him. Mm -hmm. All right, because they already lied on the police up there. I went up to the Portage County Sheriff. Miss Hall, not one of our officers were ever in your home booth outside the protective black case. That would be illegal. Not one of our officers were ever in your home, nor had any knowledge of anybody being in your home. That would be illegal. I said, well, it's a Fourth Amendment. Police and agencies can only be in a home on Earth for life. They have to speak to everyone before they start, or it's abuse and misconduct. Give them the right to proceed. Fourth Amendment. You can't look or listen. Yeah, so I told them about the shower scene, about Ed in the Oakland apartment telling on them, the guy at the task force, to all those other people and the date rape drug confessions and his mouth is dropping away he said miss hall when all these people are saying they did is illegal i thought we had no knowledge of this okay light on that i went to my friends make room for the half of that protective life november 13th that was just for me i was sitting around town Someone sent me some, well, we have CC talk about it. Of course we have. So that my sheriff, Tesco sheriff, was still there from five years ago. He's like, yeah, he made fun of my hair. Because he has a dyed funky color now. And I said, yeah, he's real funny. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I told him I redid my notary where I used to do loans. And I just got my med cert. And I told him how good a grade I got. He's like, and I told them how I, I, I do home health care and I work for day half. I take care of people for a living. My daughter walked up and said, well, Karen, you couldn't even have an accusation and do what you're doing. I said, I know that. She's like, I said, well, I call them the Pinocchio group and the wild, wild, wild group. And she said, mm-hmm. Well, they would need extra shorts because their pants would catch on fire because anybody said you did anything wrong, they would be looking for you. So, mm -hmm. so whatever officer was listening that day to verify for Karen Romanowski or that dirty idiot that went and told on me the night before, they verified it was him in front of people. That badgered me into a fall. And I got a hold of him. That either was here, I was here, I was here, I was here, I was Yeah. He's after the supplementary income. The 60 grand a year that's promised to every witness protection program person. And I never got a dime of it. And he's the one that went and told. Mm -hmm. He's the one that pattered me into a false statement. He either said, I'll come up last year, I'll put you in jail, you hear me, and then threw me down in front of Knowing they were date rape, broken me, and I wasn't thinking for because normally I would have slammed the phone down. Called the supervisor. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. See. Mm. They were talking about him outside my room at Western Medical. That agent that bullied her and saying she was lying and she wasn't. 
November 24th. Was the medical care ever? Just pull the hospital names on there. They'll talk about an agent of mine. Our boy man to say I was lying to my mom. The way they say some of those guys out there went some experiment. And I told him cut her out, let her get some money. She better not have permanent damage. Man might have more than permanent damage. Got a debt in my skull. Uh huh. I threw up so much from all the drugs that were pumped in me. Um, my stomach shifted. I have a slight high head or high. My stomach literally shifted from throwing up so hard. I need medical treatment. And, yeah. The agent, yeah, told on me the night before. Everybody in the Stark County Sheriff or Friday was with me. That's why he bullied me. He was extorting money. Out of people in the women's protection program. Because if you bully them, you could have them all drugged up. Bully men, you see something under a threat arrest where they can't think clear because they've already been drugged up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then you set up an account with the money in it and you never give it to them. And then it's all yours. But Another sign of me victim is government subsidized income. It's embezzling government funds. It's like stealing somebody's social security, SSI, VA check. Except for this is for victims or witnesses of violent crime to put in a protection program that they're supposed to get 60 grand a year for the rest of their life because they've been traumatized so bad because they've been part of a violent crime. I never got it done. I like my money. There should be like 250000 at the medical card or the body scan. I'm not joking on that. They literally stabbed me in the neck 12, 2118. Woke up with a dent in my head. More likely, they just bashed me in the back of the head and ran me. And one of those drug torture kind of things that tortured me during the real protected life years. That's how unprotected I was July to September 19, 1 to 3.30 in the morning. We have a video in a protected home custody case. Being tortured. Never been tortured. I want you to, have you ever been tortured? Levels of fear you should never know. Almost being murdered, almost getting shot in the head, having to hide on a shooting night, facing a stalker. It scares the hell out of you, but it pisses the hell out of you. Because when you look at somebody's doing that just to get a damn house, well, you have no way out. If I would have that income, I could have got myself out then. That agent. They call him that idiot that's trying to steal everything she had in life for his own family. Mm hmm. No, I want you to think of that. The idiot trying to steal everything for his own family. Michelle was a young blonde girl. She had family drugs. My dad's FBI he works in Davis. She's a peace sorter girl. She said she had me tortured. Hmm. I think it's my ex is showing the tapes of it too and breaking the hammer down to me. Sticks you should know about Michelle. I know about Michelle. I said the young blonde girl. Yeah, I know about her. The little young blonde girl that thinks her dad's an agent out in his area can pick up a protective life case and then extort money out of the victim. I bet I'm not the only one who's done it. Then steals the supplementary income that goes along with it. I bet a lot more. People either died in his care, mm -hmm. committed suicide, or 
in jail on crimes that they didn't commit. You know, I talked to this one retired sheriff. He's like, is the police in your area slow? I started laughing. He said, because a regular officer could arrest at that agent. See, once you commit a crime, you lose your badge. He said, the, and it, it, well, actually, he told me that they could. The regular police should have took care of that. They should have arrested them. But he told me the regular police should have already took care of this in this area. Mm -hmm. I told him about that Eric screaming that out at Walmart by the hair salon. He's like, they arrested him, right? I said, I don't know. I told him where to find him. He said, are they slow in your area or what? He said, because they should have nipped this a long time ago. Police and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life. They have to speak to everyone before they start. It's a Fourth Amendment. You have a right to privacy. You also have your Miranda rights. You have the right to remain quiet. So can they watch you in your home? No. It has to be special protective line cases only. And they have to know about the threat on the life. So have a right to an attorney. You have a right to a fair court trial ballot bond. You have a right not to be mistreated. You have a right to privacy and a freedom of speech. And FBI agents are sworn to protect and uphold the Constitution with their invariable rights. My one friend worked at the prosecutor's office. Mm -hmm. He said that probably we start counting the back door people. Yeah. See, this guy's running this area. They've been saying that it is. Trying to steal everything she has in life from his family. And it's the only thing going on in her set that was going on. They need to get the calls back out of his area. Grab the protector line case. Um, he, yeah. Went out and told on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blame me in false name. Put me in protective custody. Grab that that money but that money but still be there or they can get it back out of them. I'm supposed to get five grand a month. And sixty grand a year. There should be like two hundred and fifty thousand in account for me. I expect it tax free. And I have a lack of medical treatment. He said they were breaking in stabbing. I was losing five to seven pounds a week. I need to lose five to ten. If you actually pull that protector like case, it's like the first time with the It's a house or there's so much I can do to get me off of it. I can legally go up to like Hartville Sheets gas station. Don't mention the name. I can go to Young's Market. Don't mention the name. Bet there's no one's problem. Hmm? I can go in places and people will get me a mention of cancer. That's awful. Hmm? That's how bad the case is. They sold the login by Christmas ID. They sold police information. The only ones that ever should see or hear me is uh, officers naked in unprotected home custody. Around the house naked. The agent opened it somewhere. A Stark County Sheriff's call. Maslin Police. Maslin Police have been looking for that area for a while for Stark County. Okay, it's looking for him too. Dear God, I raise him as his bank on West House Close of February. You know, and that Star County Sheriff verified that they had seen that agent tell on me, and he didn't tell on him before. And he let me go to this house. I want you to think about that. He 
could have got me help at any time in this last four years. Any of these officers could have. They should have arrested every person involved in this. Hmm? I'll tell you what, a good couple thousand dollar fines on everybody. They would have thought, thought any of this was funny. For stalking and harassment. You gotta think of an FBI agent during some drive to get my regular officer arrested. If an FBI agent robbed a gas station, my regular officer arrested him. If he's freaking and stalking somebody and think my regular officer and down arrest him. <laughs> if he's freaking and drugging people and stealing stuff and hurting people, my regular officer arrest him. He lost his badge. Badge and Law seven, Department of Justice 1729. Um, if you badge your a victim, a witness, or an informant, yeah, you go to jail. If they get hurt because of your badge, you go longer. If you cut a deal with somebody, you stay longer. You can't pull anyone, anything out of anybody. Uh, no force conversion is admissible. Um, I spoke to another officer. He said you have to take their statement if you believe them or not. You have to follow through. If they yell back and you lose your badge, you can go to jail for it. And I'll tell you what, headquarters needs to pull back agents, files, and everybody is connected to. And see how many other people they get their supplementary income and how much money they have embezzled from the government, from victims. I went outside earlier and somebody was like, we need to get a hold of Danny and Jen. Danny and Jen are involved in this. We don't know anything about it. And people have said if they actually did know, they would have went to jail. But they was having me stalked and date rape dropped and photoshopping a shower scene of that mm -hmm. Yeah, to help them get away with premeditated murder on me, Dixie, and Joshy, and the girls. Mm -hmm. Just for a damn hour. They would go to jail for attempted murder and extortion on it. It's a good thing they don't. 